Okay, so I think somebody uh, raised quite an interesting. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, uh, question. Uh, why? Why? Why VET? Uh, why? Why not the others? Uh, why not something like Oxy or or, or SOM or even XLE? Okay. So VET is a natural gas producer lah. Uh, Zom and that one is a mix between crude oil and uh, uh, crude oil and uh, natural gas. So I'm looking for the natural gas uh, pure play. Why? Because I think crude oil is still quite expensive. So I believe that the prices of their producers will also be expensive. Lah. I want to see crude oil fall down a bit lower, maybe to 65 or 60 before I start buying them. And of course, the prices, they should reflect the, the thing, uh, the, what do you call that? Uh, the drop in price, okay? So why why VET? Okay, VET is a natural gas producer. It has two uh, markets. One is in the Europe, one is in the US, okay? So you all may think that, ah, it's so easy. You want to sell to Europe, just ship it to Europe, lah. okay? So oil is uh, not as fungible as crude oil. Uh. I mean, natural gas is not as fungible as crude oil. You have to use a processing facility to convert from gas to liquid, liquid to gas. So it's quite a troublesome, uh, right? It's quite, quite troublesome to export it out. But eventually, I think uh, Europe, uh, because after the war with uh, Russia, and after US whacked the pipeline, uh, so they have, they have no choice, really. so they have to make all these uh, offshore and onshore uh, natural gas processing facility okay so yeah uh, obviously if there is peace in the thing natural gas is gonna fall down uh. okay so when you buy a vermilion uh, you have to expect some sort of the price falling it's not 100% for sure that the price is gonna be at $12 like that okay so the past two days uh, due to the market rally uh, vermilion actually went up 10% plus lah, which is uh, in my opinion uh, quite sucky because I wanted to buy them as it falls right so why vermilion this is a good question first it is a natural gas producer and I think natural gas is not uh, egregiously overpriced lah. I think the natural gas price is not super overpriced okay and I think it's very near a flaw but it just rebounded you see Okay, so why did VET and all the natural gas producers, why are their shares falling? Okay, so notice that VET was in a upwards band, like a channel that's going upwards. Okay, so what happens? Well, it broke out on the downside. That's why it's very bearish. Okay, uh, it was bearish, then suddenly now it, there's some kind of momentum. So usually in this kind of thing, we, want, we, we usually draw the, what we draw is, oh, is a, downwards momentum now right that's what we do as a uh, technician uh, we are technicians we are traders uh, okay so I'm a trader uh, I'm not an investor okay please don't put in your head that oh uh, investor no I never said uh. okay so although I use value investing right techniques I am not a investor in other words I don't hold the stock for a long time okay I'm not a very long-term stockholder I I switch out of my holdings if they haven't realized the, the thesis. So, uh, yeah. So now you can see what's happening there. Okay. And uh, that's why the thing has been falling because A, eh, there's a new channel that goes down. Usually it won't last. Right. Usually it won't last. Some steep, these kind of steep channels won't last and there's going to be some sort of a consolidation later. Okay, so what is the lowest price for natural gas? What is the lowest price? I think 2020 is going to be the lowest. So we are very close actually to the lowest, right? Okay, we are very close to the lowest and we are very far from the highest. This is probably one of the highest you can go. Lah. Somewhere around here, I guess, right? So let's take a look at the monthly candle to see uh, the historical, what is the monthly. So lowest is somewhere here, okay? 2020 we are not gonna reach 2020 again there is no uh, most likely not going to reach lah. when I say not gonna reach I said that's a bit too uh, strong I said most likely not gonna reach 2020 lows but then got possibility to reach yep got possibility so everything is always possible but how likely it is to happen we don't know 
So I think uh, we are maybe going to reach somewhere here lah, one point nine lah. I guess one point nine lah that. Okay. So it's quite close. Okay, quite close. But if the US starts printing and printing and printing and printing and printing, what's gonna happen? Inflation, all natural, all the commodities will go up. I think this is one of the commodities that deserve, uh, you know, your attention lah, because it's priced quite low. From its highs, okay. So what is the normal highs? Normal highs are going to be four point eight, lah. Right? It happened here. It happened here. So about four point eight. So we are actually at the bottom, lah. So that's why uh, natural gas. I like natural gas. Okay. Now why VET? Of course, you're going to ask that. So VET, if you notice, uh, uh, is not in a good state, lah. Although the PE is uh, two point eight six, uh, Never look at a cyclical stocks PE. You want to look at the latest quarter result. What are they getting for it? So their operating income is about ninety dollars lah. So they are getting. So they are still making about fifty-seven. Uh, it's because smaller than what it seems, right? Okay, because previously they were making four hundred, uh, four hundred million uh, Canadian dollars per quarter. Now they're making fifty-seven million. Okay. So what about their friends, right? Like uh, AR. So what is AR making? Entero is an American producer. Okay, natural gas also. Okay, so Entero is making about seventeen. It's very close to break even lah. But you know, previously they were making a losses. So what 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 does that suggest? Well, things don't look as good as they should lah. Right, and they are slowly reaching the thing. So when they are starting to make losses. Uh, Commodities is like that. When they're starting to make losses, that's when you want to buy them, not when they are making money. So I think now is the beginning stages uh, of a potential buy-in natural gas producers. Okay, so when they're starting to make losses, when they're starting to break even, that is when you want to start buying them. Start, I said start. Okay, when they make big losses like 2020, that is actually when one of the best times for you to start buying them. Notice this is a big loss. Okay. Then what happened? One. So it's not one quarter, it's many quarters, four quarters of big losses. Then what happened? What happened? Then you see prices start to uh, 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 to normalize. Right? Prices start to normalize and then what happened? They start making money again. Okay, so this one, why is the thing so so erratic? Uh? Why is it 1.8, uh, this guy? Huh? And why is the revenue negative? This guy is a bit weird the way they play out the, 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 the way they record down the thing EQT. Either way, uh, you generally don't want a company that is over hedge. Uh. Sometimes they hedge, they sell in the forward market, the futures market. Uh. You know, they want to lock in the prices. But you don't really want those guys who actually over hedge. Uh. Okay. So this one, this one, another one is Equino. Equino is a Norway one. Uh. Equino also not bad. I want to see how Equino is doing. Equino should be doing. Oh, there's no uh, that one. Equino should be doing not bad lah. Uh. Not bad lah. Uh, I think Equino. Yeah. So after the losses, uh, this is when you should start buying lah. Uh, when they start making losses, so you can see uh, it's like that one. Two thousand twenty is actually very low. So if you have bought any time uh, during 2020, uh, you would have made money, right? Take a look at that. Okay, you would have made money. Okay, although you buy Equino, you won't make as much as you buy the VET. La. Okay, so VET is why I buy because this is my five or six bagger. La. Oh, I bought this during 2020 for $2, $2 plus. La. Then I sold it for slowly, slowly, slowly sell it. I sold it somewhere here, I think. Then I slowly sell it up. So it's a five bagger to me or six bagger like that. Slowly sell it up. I sold all at $18. Then I realized, oh shit, gonna be war. So I bought again, right? I bought some more $18. I sold at 20, 20, not 25, I think 20, 22 around there. I didn't get the peak. Uh. Then after that, uh, there's still some remaining. I keep a uh, very little, but I already earn it. Uh. Then starts come down here, $12 something, I think was a decent price to start collecting again. I start collecting again, went up a bit, and then it fell back down, I start collecting again, okay? So, 
what is the strategy you want to use well you can use several strategies if you want you can sell calls against them right but i'm not going to sell a call against this one because mine is going to be an inflation hedge play i'm not going to sell okay so i'm just saying uh, why am i buying this one so why am i not buying uh, xle because xle the biggest two uh the biggest two companies that they hold is actually Exxon and uh, Saffron. Just buy those two, can it? Right, no need to buy the rest, I think. But if you want to buy, uh, you can buy uh, Konoko, EOG, MPC. MPC is not bad. Uh. I used to own some Marathon also. Marathon is quite good. Yeah, SLB. Schlumberger, Schlumberger is a dealer, right? I thought. Schlumberger is a driller, right? He's not he's not really a, a, a that one, right? Yeah, he's a driller. Why why is it in the XLE? He sell the, the, the equipment only, not 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 sell the thing, not sell the 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 the, uh, the oil and gas, not the operator. Okay. Either way la, either way la, either way la. Uh, the reason why I don't want to because I think crude oil is a bit high la, and I, I don't like uh, the pricing uh, of crude oil okay so i think crude oil maybe if it drops to maybe somewhat 57 that's when i will buy start buying ong la, oil oil uh oil 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 producers maybe about 58 around there so i see i i view the 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 crude oil as this some total like that and i think they are at equilibrium price now la. it's a 70 bucks i think it's the equilibrium price so as a commodity investor i want to buy when it's low and sell when it's high i don't want to do the reverse you see okay that's how i made uh, five times on oxy right and i make six times on uh, actually for oxy four times uh vet is five times to six times right that's how i make the money you see uh why you never keep until the if oxy twenty dollars, then you would have made ten times. As some a VT, right? Some 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 ask me like that. My son asked me before, why you never get under twenty five? Then I say I don't know the future. I didn't know there's gonna be a war in uh, Europe, right? I told him if you know the future, you don't need to work. Just stay at home. Oh, there's gonna be a war. Price gonna go up. Just buy call option. You reach already what? Right. Then he was like, oh okay, okay. My second son, he's not very studious, uh, but he he he's he's smart in a different way. Uh. Yeah, he's smart in a different way. Uh. I think that guy can do a business next time. Uh. In very yeah, the first one is very smart academically, uh, but not very smart in the people sense. I don't know how to do the 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 the, the work smart, not very integrated yet. Ah, like that. Second son study wise not really interested but actually smart also right i think in uh, sec 2 that time uh, i teach him uh, 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 elementary math core math la, c math extended math la. then he he can pass really, you know the o, o, o level he can pass o level e math you know right he can pass really you know he can get a c you know in the o level e math except sec 2 eh. That's not bad, leh. Except two, I only taught him for what one or two months. Uh, then he can pass with it. He can pass with it, you know. Then I, as I taught him more and more, he can get a B. Yeah, in the IGCSE extended. So it's quite smart, lah. Quite smart, lah. Okay. Uh, yeah. For those stocks, uh, like Nvidia, la, Tesla, Apple, la, I think I saw Joseph Carlson selling Apple. So I think even the YouTubers, uh, they realize that I think we think the Apple is a bit too expensive. And he's not the only guy who thinks like that. Lah. I think, yeah, he's not the only guy who thinks like that. Okay. So uh, it's not really a relief rally. Lah. It's actually an inflation rally. Lah. Uh, because the Fed is bound to cut the rates maybe four times or five times. Uh, they think that the economy is not going to go into recession and they think that you know they're gonna require a lot of stuff so i think uh not only crude oil and that one i think iron also is gonna go up iron iron ore prices okay iron ore prices also gonna go up
Oh. Iron ore also going to go up. Yeah, a lot of stuff going to go up. I think it'd be a bit nuts. Huh? So my advice, uh, so you all always say, uh, remember you all always say, oh, this is my, this is not, I'm not scolding you all, uh, not scolding anything, uh, not trying to target anyone. Uh, I'm just saying that uh, a lot of people say in Singapore, oh, oh, REITs are uh, oh, lousy uh, because you must pay US REITs is lousy because you, you, you must, you must pay the, the, the what, uh, the, 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 the 30%, uh, okay, 30%, uh, this one and that one. Uh. No, but actually, uh, you notice, uh, you don't care what you just want to trade if you want to trade just buy right you shouldn't think about the thing because if you are a trader if you think about the, the, the dividend uh, there's something wrong with you man okay so for example next time if i may say i recommend some read uh, for you all uh, you can trade it you don't have to hold it and uh, you don't have to be a dividend player wait until the thing go up realize the value then you trade <coughs> right this one i already mentioned many times what uh, ARE and all the uh, dividends, uh, all the rates. Uh. You don't have to be, oh, fuck, 30% tax. Oh, like, I see you all very scared. You all very scared of tax, eh, I see. Okay. You all very scared of tax, eh, the way I see it. It's just 30%. Uh. You know, you hold for how long? You hold for one month or two months or three months or six months or one year only at most, right? It's not like you're going to die. Eh. I see you all like, oh, tax die. Don't want, don't want, don't want tax. Don't want to pay tax. Uh. Okay. Cannot lah, you all cannot like that lah. Must 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 learn to be more. Uh, 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 you, it's a trading uh, It's a trading machine uh, right? Don't don't always discount the rates in the US. So this is my advice to you all uh, right? Uh, this was a this was a trade for the 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 low uh, for the low. We uh, for the for the rate cut right? We think that the Fed is going to rate cut and then the Fed cannot tahan the rate so high. And then the rate prices are going to adjust, right? So, so, so basically, what it means is that what I mean is that you shouldn't be scared to own USA REITs, uh. Okay, I see Singapore a uh, very scared, uh. Wow, die di, uh. rate die di, lah. Wow, you got thirty percent tax, uh. I see, I see di, wow, you, you all like, 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 like very scared of tax, uh, that lah. Oh, like very scared to pay the dividend tax, uh. Rates in the first place, they don't pay that much tax anyway. They kinda, they got they got exemption from corporate tax. That's why they have to distribute ninety percent of their uh, taxable income. That's the that's the rule. That's the rule, right? So my advice, uh, to you all, uh, this is uh, I'm gonna repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat, uh. Many times, uh, I'm gonna repeat this many times, uh. You shouldn't think too much about the dividends, uh. The tax on dividends. Uh. Don't think too much about that. Uh. Right? Don't think too much about that. Okay. So this is I uh, this is don't think too much about that one. Instead, uh, you should think more about the trade. What is your main idea? Right? The trade. Oh, if I hold this maybe one year after the Fed cut trade, the price is gonna go up maybe 30, 40 percent. Then just because of that uh, 30% dividend tax, you miss out eh, on a class of uh, 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 on a class of investment, right? So this is my advice, uh, right? You shouldn't like like be sidelined uh, by the tax, the 30% withholding tax on the dividends, right? You got to focus uh, on the main thing. Oh, I think especially US market is very fast to realize the value. Okay, that's what I like about the U.S. market. U.S. market very fast to realize value. Okay, other market not so. I, 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 I try it away. The, even the Canadian market, they don't realize the value as fast. Uh. So, yeah, if you want fast, uh, uh, U.S. market very fast to realize value. Right. For example, MPW are uh, ten percent one day. Uh. So, yeah, that is one advice. Uh. The second advice is that uh, a lot of you like to copy or learn from Adam and say, "Oh, 
we must only buy the best companies with the best modes uh, with very little debt right that's good that is one aspect of uh, 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 trading or investing by Peter Lynch style it's called the growth category it's good nothing wrong with that right but then because you do that you 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 actually miss out you know on the other opportunities uh. that means you only stuck to one direction only right i also got microsoft i also got facebook right i got meta right in my that one i got paycom okay i bought paycom i bought fortinet so i got growth stocks also okay but i also got others you see that's why so i got different kind of plays uh. That I want to uh, uh, tell you all, uh, my, uh, not not. I'm not trying to show off, lah. Okay, I'm not trying to show. I'm just trying to tell you. Don't be just because uh, you listen to this guy say that oh, must buy growth stocks. Growth stocks are the only way. No, they might. There are many ways. Okay, there are many ways to make money in the stock market. Right. So I come from the Peter Lynch school. Uh. I didn't come from the uh, Adam Koo school. Uh. So, but I see Adam Koo. Oh, okay. Adam Koo is playing the growth stock strategy. Okay, which is actually good. Which is actually good. Okay, Adam Koo's picks. Uh, Adam Koo's idea, the growth stocks uh, category. They are good. Nobody said they are lousy. But you discount yourself. Sometimes the opportunity is down there in front of your face. But because you listen to him too much, uh, you pat chow. You understand? Uh, what's pat chow? You cock eye. Because you listen to Adam Kuhl too much, you become cock eye. Opportunity in front of your face, but you miss it. Why? Because you pat chow, you listen to him too much. You only focus on the growth stocks, right? Okay? But the opportunity is there. Opportunity is there, Isaac. Huh? Okay? That's why I, I sometimes I see people uh, 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 in uh, Master Leong, that one I, I see when I uh, Danny recommend some stocks, he say ah, lousy la, 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 la. Then I was like, huh? The thing is like very cheap, really. Like, then you say lousy, 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 lousy. Then I was like, something wrong with me. It's like, be, why, why, why you say like that? Because you pat jiao. You listen to Adam Ku too much. Then you miss out on the normal stocks, right? That can make you money also. That is cheap also. Right? That has a potentially good IRR. Okay? The stock doesn't need to grow. Leh. Does need to stay like that. And it's a good value really. Right? But the company is still growing. And you say it's lousy because it has no mode. It has a, a lot of debt. Then I was like, Huh? What the fuck, man? Okay? Now, there's, there are more than one people like that. There are definitely more than one people that is like that. Okay? There are definitely more than one people. Uh, that's why I I, I, tell, I I think that... Huh? Okay? Uh, I think that there is this too much. Lah. So my recommendation uh, for those kind of people who believes in Adam Ku a lot uh, and follow his strategy, uh, there's, he has this platform called Ultimate Investors Playbook. Okay, it's very good. It's good. So he do the analysis for you. He pick the stocks for you. It is damn good. Okay, very good. He pick the stocks for you. He do the valuations for you. Uh, he do all the stuff lah for you lah. Okay, and so far his picks are good. He went up forty percent. You know, for the thing for the year. So. My 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 recommendation is you you should just just, just go lah just go lah just go for it, right? If you like, if you really like him, why not? Why not you subscribe to him? Okay, thousand seven hundred and ten US dollars per year is not very expensive. If you have a pretty decent sum of portfolio, hundred, two hundred, hundred fifty, I think hundred fifty is worth it really for this kind of service. No offense ah, okay, no offense ah, not trying to. Uh, like that nah, okay so why 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 you go around and looking for those uh, other opportunities or why you looking like that you should be here right if you like the growth stocks and you like Adam Kuz picks if you like the multi stocks this is where it should be okay you, this is where it should be you know 
Okay, so I'm not paid to, to do this, you know. I'm not paid by Adam Adam Cool to do this. I'm not paid by Adam Cool. Okay, I'm not paid by Adam Cool to do this. Look at that. This is look at that. He got the watch list. He got the portfolio tracker, right? Uh, he got check group also. So this is where you all should be for those of you who be, who, who believes in the multi stocks. This is where you should be. This is one of the best places for you to be, right? And why is those people who 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 go for this kind of stock? Why did, why why are they? I don't understand why are they going around for other places, okay? When they are already they believe in Adam so much and they believe in the multi stock so much, this is where you sure should be, okay? This is where you all should be, and it's not very expensive, lah. If you really like those multi stocks, you go and find a friend. There's many friends out there, right? People who invest and be believe in the same thing as you. You go and find, go and find uh, three people or two people. It's fifty. Let's say you find three people, it's only fifty US dollars a month. Fifty US dollars is not expensive, lah, bro. Per month, it's not expensive. Okay. It's not expensive, lah. I think if fifty or you find four, lah, huh? You you find four people, then you share the account, then you get all these uh, stuff. I don't think it's expensive, lah. I really don't think it's expensive. Okay. Then uh, yeah, look at look at the people. So a lot of people actually benefited from his stocks fix. Okay, so my 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 recommendation to you all is that this is one of the best places for those of you who like multi stocks and uh very low debt kind of stock lah. Oh, right? low debt lah. Is it? Yeah, I'm not sure about the low debt part lah. But yeah. 